السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا وسهلا ومرحبا بكم A very warm welcome to one and all who are viewing us today May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us all Amin ya rabbal alameen uh, My name is Habib Bobat and inshallah I'll be keeping you company for this blessed month of Ramadan and uh, in our session together we'll be discussing various topics in today's sitting we will be discussing Qiyamul Layl specifically inshallah now we know that the month of Ramadan offers us many opportunities we have many opportunities to come closer to Allah wa ta'ala through Qiyam, through Siyam, through Quran, Tilawa, through Dhikr, through Dua, through Charity, through Good Work and many other avenues through which a person can draw closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the month of Ramadan. But today I want to focus specifically on Qiyamul Layl, which we often refer to as Tahajjud Salah. Qiyamul Layl is basically the Salah that is performed in the latter part of the night, in the last portion of the night, in the dead of the night, if you may put it, and that salah is extremely, extremely powerful in terms of drawing closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, when we talk about qiyam, the literal meaning of qiyam means standing and al-layl means night. Qiyamul layl standing at night for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's look at the significance of qiyamul layl. Let's look at the history behind qiyamul layl. Let's look at the virtues of Qiyamul Layl. Let's look at the number of raka'at that are to be performed during Qiyamul Layl. Let's look at the ways in which we can bring this into our lives. So starting off with the history and the context of Qiyamul Layl, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Noble Quran mentions, Ya ayyuhal muzzammil, qumi al-layla illa qalila, nisfahu awin qus minhu qalila. In these verses of Surah Muzammil, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses the Rasul of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, Ya ayyuhal muzammil, O the one wrapped up in the shawl. It's an affectionate address the Prophet of Allah is given here. And Allah is saying, O Rasul of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Qum, stand up at night. How long should you stand up? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes on to mention إِلَّا قَلِيلًا نِصْفَهُ أَوْ إِنْقُسْ مِنْهُ قَلِيلًا أَوْ زِدْ عَلَيْهِ وَرَتِّلِ الْقُرْآنَ تَرْتِيلًا Allah says to the Rasul of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Sahaba stand up at night for half of the night or more than half of the night or at least one third of the night so Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, our beloved mother says that for one entire year, the Rasul of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Sahaba together with him would perform Qiyamul Layl for the better portion of the night. And this was done in order to spiritually prepare the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een as well as the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for the great mission that lies ahead of them. Now the ulama say, although Qiyamul Layl is no longer fard upon the Ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, however, however, its significance still remains up to this day. So from the many ways of drawing closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one of them is Qiyamul Layl. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about Qiyamul Layl in many places of the Quran, just to run you through some of the verses, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمِنَ اللَّيْلِ فَتَهَجَّدْ بِهِ نَافِلَةً لَكَ Allah says, وَمِنَ اللَّيْلِ فَسَبِّحُ وَأَدْبَارَ السُّجُودِ Allah says, تَتَجَافَ جُنُوبُهُمْ عَنِ الْمَضَاجِعِ يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ خَوْفٌ وَطَمَعًا وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ Allah says, وَمِنَ اللَّيْلِ فَسَبِّحُ and so many other verses of the Noble Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the significance and the virtue of Qiyamul Layl. Now, when we talk about Qiyamul Layl, we should understand that this is a very meritorious action. It's a very virtuous action which a person should try to bring into his life. Now, 
if you look at the lives of the pious people, if you look at the lives of the Anbiya alayhim salatu wasalam, they all had this common practice in their life. Every Nabi and every Prophet, every pious servant of Allah has Qiyamul Layl and Tahajjud Salah in his life. The objective of today's session is that Ramadan offers us this beautiful opportunity to bring Qiyamul Layl into our routine, to make it part and parcel of our life and to make it such that for the entire year we are performing Qiyamul Layl. Wallahi brothers, there is so much that Allah has kept in this beautiful action, this beautiful ibadah of the night, which is referred to as Qiyamul Layl or Tahajjud Salah. Now, in terms of uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam himself, he would stand up at night for such long hours to the point that his feet would swell up. Hatta warimat qadama. And in the end he would say, when they would ask him, O Nabi of Allah, why do you exert yourself so much? Why do you spend such lengthy hours at night speaking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And he would say, Afala akunu abdan shakura. Should I not be a thankful servant to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So, if this was the case of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that despite being the paragon of Allah's creation, despite being such a close servant of Allah, yet he would spend so many hours at night in Qiyamul Layl just to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I want to draw your attention to a lovely hadith, an authentic narration of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. يَنزِلُ رَبُّنَا تَبَارَكَ وَتَعَالَى فِي آخِرِ الليل. Every night, every night of the year, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes down to the sama dunya to the level, lowest heaven. This is just a form of expression. Uh, it's not meant in the literal sense. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes down to the lowest heaven and He makes this call and this announcement every night towards the latter part of the night. هَلْ مِنْ سَائِلٍ فَأُعْطِيَهُ هَلْ مِنْ مُسْتَغْفِرٍ فَأَغْفِرَ لَهُ Is there anyone seeking assistance from Allah? Is there anyone calling out to Allah so that I can fulfill his needs? Is there anyone seeking sustenance so that I may grant him sustenance? Is there anyone seeking forgiveness from Allah so that I may forgive him? Every night this call is made. Imagine how important this call becomes in the month of Ramadan. Imagine the significance, the importance of this call during the course of Ramadan. And I can safely say that I have so many sins and so many shortfalls and so many shortcomings in my life that I definitely want to ask Allah for forgiveness on the one hand. And on the other hand, I know that I've got challenges in my life. I know that I've got my own struggles. There is a perfect opportunity for us to talk to Allah. And that is through Qiyamul Layl, standing up at night and asking Allah for our needs. Every person, every person watching at this moment can look into his own life and can definitely say that there are areas which he requires the assistance of Allah whether it's financial assistance, whether it's medical assistance, whether it's other needs of your life, whether it's marital discord, whether it's uh, problems that you are facing at work, whether it's health complications that you are facing. Every person sitting here and every person watching can do a, can, can do a soul searching session for himself or for herself and ask himself or herself this question. That definitely, I am going through some problems in my life. But what is it that's stopping me from speaking to Allah? What is it that's stopping me from coming closer to Allah wa ta'ala? What is it that's stopping me from drawing from the treasures of Allah in the dead of the night? Indeed, Qiyamul Layl, Tahajjud Salah, offers us this opportunity to speak to Allah, to talk to Allah, to converse with Allah, to communicate with Allah, to pour our heart 
to uh, in front of Allah. You going through that traumatic period in your life, as far as your uh, your your marriage is concerned, as far as your relationship is concerned. You have the opportunity to speak to Allah. Why not speak to Allah wa Taala? You've got health complications. Why not speak to Allah and say, Oh Allah, I'm going through this medical condition. You are a Shafi. You are the cure. Grant me the cure. And this is the thing that we are saying. The fact that you wake up at night to speak to Allah shows how much you are willing to call, talk to Allah and shows how much you are willing to, uh, you are willing to, um, you know, take out time to communicate your needs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and shows how much in need you are. How much dependence you have with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We'll speak more about this after this break, inshaAllah.